Samsung and Google have taken some big steps to align their enterprise security and management platforms. Today I'm with Samsung's Ram Matapali to discuss those changes. So over the last few years, Samsung and Google have taken parallel steps to meet the security and device management needs of their enterprise customers. Has this created an overlap? If you go back to 2013, when we announced Samsung Knox, a technology on the phone which could work uh, with uh, your chosen EMM and support an enterprise deployment. And then Google and Android came up with something uh, a little later. It was formally called AFW, Android for Work. And what that was doing for our customers was on one single hardware, Samsung hardware, there was a set of APIs from Samsung, a set of APIs from Android. So there was complementary offerings, but fundamentally they were different. So what that meant is customers had to choose one versus the other. And many times customers come, would come back to us and say, why can't I use both? But now going forward, we're going to find a way to fix it. What's changing on Samsung's Knox 3.0 on Android Oreo? So Android O update to our phones is uh, coming soon. And that will coincide with Knox 3.0, which will harmonize or unify the, the technology on our devices. So it will be one set of APIs, one set of data separation technologies, and you can manage that with your favorite EMM. What does this realignment mean for enterprise mobility managers and EMM solution providers? What it means is now on Samsung devices, there is one solution. And it's APIs, data separation, and you can leverage technologies both from Google and Samsung. So customers don't no longer need to have a, make a choice. From an EMM perspective, what it means is they can cut down their R&D resources and build just once for Samsung hardware as against two teams that used to work on Knox and AFW in the past. 